everyone. <clears throat> I'm Sandy. And I'm Stacy. And we're still part of the Fashion Girls, but we're doing a lot of other videos because we are a lifestyle channel. We like to bring changes in the world, um, a lot of things that we do that are interesting um, and hopefully interesting to you. Um, and try and big, bring a lot more information to you, whether it's products or things going on in the world today that we saw or whatever. Okay, so <clears throat> today's video, if I start to rant, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's frustrating. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of other videos on what we're about to do. Okay, today we're going to rate... <clears throat> or tell you about three different parks that we have been to, amusement parks, okay? So like last, what, last week, we were at an amusement park that we were going there since my daughter was a child, since I was a kid. Um, and what we're talking about are, <clears throat> like you've been hearing, the new disability pass system in a lot of these parks, there have been changes. So the parks that we have that we're gonna tell you about with our experience. Now this is just our opinion and our experiences. It's our opinion only. <clears throat> yeah, our opinion only. So you derive at your own. What I want everybody to do is click subscribe, like, and share comments about anything that we are seeing in this video today. Questions are, uh, ask questions, make a comment if you had experiences at these parks or at any other amusement park. Maybe we missed something, but, right. you know, maybe next time we could try. You know? Right, exactly. So, um, Okay, so here's the thing. The first park we're going to tell you about is what we live about 15 minutes away, the first amusement park. The second one is about, what, an hour and 20 minutes away? Yeah. And the third one is pretty far away. You have to fly to where we live here in Pennsylvania. Okay, so the first park we're going to tell you about is Knobles Amusement Resort. And it is a local park here in Elysburg, Pennsylvania. And it's a nice family park. No parking ticket in. You can check on, we did a video recently on Knobles, so you can check that out on our site. It's Knobles Amusement Resort. And you'll see what kind of a park it is. Um, it's a very nice, friendly, family-oriented park um, with the older feel of amusement parks. Um, a lot of your older rides from years ago. Um, so it's in a beautiful grove area. Um, you know, not particularly huge, huge park or anything. Uh, they do have a campground there that is pretty big. Um, and so zero parking, zero money for parking. You can buy park passes, but you can also buy tickets uh, to get on the rides. Okay. Now, what we're going to talk about is how they run their disability pass. Now, Stacy can tell you a little bit more about what how what they go through for you to get a disability pass okay so Kenobos uses a program called ib as in boy ccs i don't know if you can see that probably not it's glaring on there but anyway um as you can see in there maybe not that that pass has expired because i didn't renew it this year um, that particular pass, Universal Studios and Islands Adventure also uses. So when you apply for that one, you can, if you're going into Florida, 
you can also apply for Universal as well. Anyway, back to Knobles. Um, when you apply for that pass, you go to guest services and they give you a wristband. And it it goes for two people. So you and another family member. Be it the rest of your party waits in in the line. And then when your family comes up, then you can go on together. You go to the exit, correct? Yes, you go to the exit. You go to the exit area of the ride. That's where you have to wait. And one of their people will be there. And they can tell you when to get on. Mm -hmm. um, you get a wristband. But like Stacy said, it's yourself and only one other family member. Okay? Um, now, I don't know if that's the same for, there's a whole long list that that's eligible for different parks. If you go on that site, if, yeah. if I remember, I'll try and link the site for you to look at. All right. So, um, yeah, we didn't know that until last year we were allowed up to six people. And then last year we got the pass. And we thought it was the same because no one, you go to guest services, which is a little stand as you're entering the park. Um, and that's where you'll get your, your disability pass. Best thing to do is go on this website first before you go to the park. Fill it out. You can print out the paper that the you approval. can show them, the approval paper that you can show them. And then they will give you, they will give you the pass. Now I have to leave for one second and turn something down. Okay. Stacy will tell you about the ease of when she had the pass. So when I had the pass, like my mom said, you go, you go into the exit. If you have more than two people, they go in to the line to wait for them. Um, I always had my scooter with me, so I was always able to sit in my scooter and and wait. Now, Knobles, I don't ride many rides. The train and Fawcett and the mine ride, which is kind of like a a little indoor ride. Other than that, I don't ride um, I don't ride any ride, which is why I didn't renew it for this year, because I didn't think it was really worth it. And not only that. But it is, e it is easy to use. It it's Does. it's very easy to use. They do abide by it. Okay. Yes. There's no if ands or buts. Gee, I don't know, whatever, anything. They are they are very strict with it and they, they do. Um it did irritate me a little bit last year because no one did explain to us that it was only right. two people. And usually my sister comes along or and my twin uh nieces and or my grandchildren. We had one other person with us last year. And yeah, and, and, and yeah. they wouldn't bend the rules for one other person. Now, I get why. I get you have families that might come up and have 20 people with them. Right. Okay, I, I understand that. Um, so I'm not, you know, they're very thorough with it. Okay, so that's Knobles Amusement Resort. I will put the link down below. Um, be, and if you want to watch about Knobles Amusement Resort, we do have a video that's on our, our YouTube channel that we just did with yeah. Knobles and, and it's, it'll, she'll kind of show you what the park is like. Okay. So Knobles, there's, it's cut and dry. Not a big issue. Yeah. All right. Second one. We just went to. Stacy's laughing. We were just there this week, actually, yeah. on Tuesday. Hershey Park. Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Stacy used to work there years ago before she got disabled. So, okay. We, they, okay. As far as I'm concerned, anything goes out there. Nobody follows the rules as far as disability passes. So, you know, and this is the first time we've been at Hershey Park in 14 years. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, and we never say no about what the rules are on the disability passes. However, was I a little irritated? Yes, I was a little irritated. Yeah. Because we went in, we got scooters. I got a scooter because I don't know if any of you know that that um that that okay. follows us. Uh I fell and injured my foot back in February and I have issues walking far places right now until it gets feeling better it there's multiple issues with it nothing major but it prevents me from doing long walking and especially hershey park if any of you have been to hershey pennsylvania in hershey park well no it it is a pretty big park it's a pro i would probably compare it to magic kingdom uh but you know maybe not quite that big but but it is very much comparable to it Except for the fact there are a lot of hills to climb. Yeah. So it's uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill. So we, you know, obviously Stacy rented one of their scooters because it would drain her scooter scooter real fast with all of those hills. Okay. So Stacy, what was your experience when you went in to get the the pass? So we went in to get the I went in to get the pass and um the the cat, or not the cast member, I'm sorry, the the Hershey Park worker had... The representative. The representative. She the gave passes. me a QR code right. to scan. And it's a form you fill out, which is a very easy form. It took probably two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes to fill out. Mm -hmm. And then she was able to pull it right up on the computer. And did I have a wristband? Yes. You had a wristband because okay. we had to cut it off. Yeah. He cut it off, actually. Yeah. Um, they do give you a wristband as well. And they also give you... Actually, there's a QR code. Uh, they give you a little booklet. It's called Hershey Park... Attra accessibility. Attraction and accessibility, accessibility Program. Okay. And inside this book... There is there's rides listed inside this book according to the questions that she answered. Right. On what rides she's allowed to ride. Okay, I believe these attendant uh um the misfit bug, uh, the tilt the world. Okay. And that goes according to hard braces, hard casts. Because I wear an awful on my left. So she also got this with it. Um, and this is just saying, would hard casts or hard braces will not be permitted to ride the Candemonium, Great Bear, Sky Rush, Hershey, Temple Tower, Super and it, and it goes on. Which I can't okay. ride any of them. She can't though, ride so. anyway. All right. So what she had told me was you get in, you, you go up any exit, okay? And they give you a time to come back. So basically a return to queue. Which was fine. I'm like, okay, I can I can handle that. However, it didn't work that way. Okay, now so, in the back it has her name. They take your picture. And they take your picture. It has she's height of the Jolly Rancher, which is an adult over size. For an adult. It, it's an adult size. The valid date range is 820 to 920. So it's it's good for a month. Mm -hmm. It tells the person it was issued by and two is the party size. Okay. And it tells you about alternative access points and attraction exits for certain rides. Okay. Um, a lot of these are the coasters. Um just telling you that they, the person that's attending the ride will give you permission when you're required, to, when you can go on the cold cracker. But the, most of them are coasters and rides that she can't go on. Okay. The following attractions will require a boarding time. 
which means you will go there. They will give you a time, kind of like Disney does, okay, and go back. And the attractions that I'm looking at mostly are the coasters, the wild mills, chariot, carousel, the comet, that's a coaster, triple towers, mixed, sky rush, the laugh track, which is an indoor ride, intercoastal, and intercoastal waterway. I'm not quite sure what that one is. I think that's what the uh, lazy river. Okay, so I think. now let me tell you something. Here, here's a perfect example why they don't follow the rules. They need to get together with all of their employees that run any of these rides and get together and tell them this is exactly what you do. It was explained to her in the front of the park when she got this. You do like Disney does. You go and get a time to go back, get a time, go to that ride, go to the exit, or somebody, usually Disney, somebody standing out front with a pad. However, we know that has changed. I okay. So. Yes, we know that changed and we're getting to that. Yeah. Okay. The thing with Hershey Park, the first ride we went to was the Reese's it was called the Reese's Cup, Cup Fusion, which is kind of like, um, I think it's like the Buzz Lightyear or whatever. With yeah. the guns, you ride in, you shoot the things on the wall, yeah. you know, digital shooting. Okay. We love that ride. We love the Reese's Cup. They changed the name. Toy Story and. Like Toy Story. Them. Right, right. Like okay. So this is kind of right. It was. That was our very first ride we went on. We waited 45 minutes before anybody acknowledged us. Yeah. We got in line. There was maybe about, I want to say, nine people in front of us. By the time it took them 20 minutes before anybody at the exit even acknowledged that were they were there. Because where they're standing and where the doorway is, they only can see one or two people. They can't see. It goes in like three people, makes a turn, and goes out through the building. Well, if there's nobody standing out there, they don't know how big the line is. They don't even know that there's more than one or two people standing there. So she left her scooter. We both left our scooters outside. I don't have a problem standing. It's the walking long. She has a problem standing long. Okay. So we're waiting in line talking to these other people. And they said, oh, we're already in line over 20 minutes already. And finally, somebody came to them and acknowledged them. It took us 45 minutes standing in line before we even got on. She, she kept saying, I can't stand here anymore. Now, we were at the exit. Every two cars that would go by they would take regular people and then they would take handicapped who were standing in line two bar cars handicapped again we don't have a problem with that no what i have a problem with nobody went by the rules because i read on here here's reese's cup fusion the following attractions will require a boarding time There is no one there writing times down to board, to come back and board. When you get up to the front, then they wrote a time, <laughs> the time you rode. By the time we got up to <laughs> front, this is the time they wrote in the booklet that she wrote. Okay. And it's saying boarding time, initials, ride, and date. Now. You're saying, well, that's the time you boarded the Y, right? They're keeping track. No. The way they explained it to her, because she went in by herself into to get the pass, they explained it to her. You go get a time and come back to the ride, wherever the ride tells you to come back to. We only have two in there. We rode like maybe five rides because yeah. there's a lot to do in the park. We just wanted to walk around. We got the tickets through our church. Our last 
actually it was we were gonna go on Reese's Cup Fusion very last because it was next to the monorail. Right. I'm gonna show you another picture. Oh, okay. Now before Stacy gets to this, that's what I want to say. Is um. No wait, Stacy, hang on. Okay. Just hang on. Make sure it's not in there. Okay. Okay, now on here it's saying they have a maximum of four riders that can go on. Right. Okay, and ensure that the guests uh, the, that the pass belongs to will be riding. The attendant will write a time on the pass corresponding to the wait time. Okay, uh, guests can ar arrive at the Great Bear at 12 for their first ride of the day. The wait time for the attraction is one hour. A tenant will write the time 1 p.m. on the boarding pass, pass, and that's the time you go back. You go into the exit or wherever it's telling you to go because there's a list in here of telling you where to go to get on the Great Bear. There's different areas where they can tell you to go with your wheelchair or scooter. None of this was followed. Mm -mm. None of it. Absolutely none of it. So, everybody just assumes because it is telling you most rides you go through the exit, go all the way up to, up to the top of the line of, of that. Now, there was some nice people at the Kissing Tower, yeah. which is a ride that goes up in the air. It's all enclosed, and it shows you the whole town of Hershey and all that if you've been to Hershey Park. They were very nice. They took us in through the exit, right with the scooters. They showed us where to park them. They boarded us first. The train no problem. was a whole other story, though. Oh, yeah. The, the train, again, that was a whole other story, too. So. She made me feel like, why are you here? You should be in the regular line. Why do you have a disability pass? Yeah, exactly. And they're so. not they're workers. They are not there to judge you. Why you have a disability pass and what kind. And the reason why I'm saying what kind, there are three different passes that I saw that were available by Hershey Park. Okay, and I did see this. This is an accessibility accessibility pass. Somebody said, what kind of pass do you have? Okay. So I don't know if there's more than one type of pass. From the way or... I understand, from what I saw, there were three passes because I didn't go in and that's my fault. I should have. There were three different passes that were inside. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. Yes, please correct but us. I saw three passes that were shown in a glass frame. There was a pass for autism and ADHD. There was another pass for neurological problems. Okay, it said any type of uh, neurological issues. Okay, and then there was the accessibility, which would be the mobile problems like Stacy's problem. So from the way I don't know if there are quote three levels because I would imagine because it tells you inside what ride you can ride. So that's why I'm thinking there are three there they are really are three different passes. Okay, which is autism, ADHD, neurological pass, which could have been stroke victims and, and what have you. Okay, but but without mobility issues. Or other neurological issues. And what are, I mean, that's, I'm just assuming this, okay? And then the accessibility or mobility passes, which what Stacy got. Okay. Now, again, to not following directions with the workers. We went on the monorail. There was no one down there at the bottom 
Now it is a long way yeah. to the top that you have to walk. We were looking at the sign. I don't know yeah. if that's gonna work. Let me see. Okay, the sign says, strollers not permitted beyond this point. Guests who utilize wheelchairs must transport, transfer to the ride vehicle. And it's pointing to the main line, not to the to exit. To the main line, not to the exit. Okay. Now, I it doesn't specify if you do that if you have the disability pass or just in a wheelchair or a scooter and you go up that way. Line isn't wide enough. Absolutely not wide enough to get through with a scooter. You could pro you I'm saying okay, you probably could. But you're gonna have a lot of people screaming, there's scooters in between you, there's wheelchairs in between you. It it goes up steep levels off, goes up steep levels. And what if you're stuck there on the steep part and you're rolling on someone? Or people get they get hot, they get angry. Okay, there is no one at the bottom to tell you. Right. You this go was, up this way or go up the exit. This was a perfect time for them to do a comeback time. However, I ended up waiting. Let me see, and I don't think it's listed in the book no. either. I ended up waiting an hour and a half. He stood in line. An hour and a half. And she was just about ready to turn around and try and make it back down because we were stupid enough. Now we're halfway up the line and there's a lady going through, one went through with a little boy. Okay. Um, and then there was another lady with a girl, little girl who had braces on and she was the sweetest little girl. She didn't say anything. I don't know who said it. Okay, let's put it that way. It doesn't matter at this point. It's what they said that aggravated me. Was, I just said to the lady, the lady said to me, oh, we go up this way. We go all the way to the top. Or, and she's walking with a brace that could have taken her scooter up. All right, because it didn't specify you could take a scooter up the regular line it said it it said wheelchair but it didn't say a darn thing about passes it's not about getting on the ride before anyone else if we have to wait in line we have to wait in line but at least let her take her scooter up there but we didn't know because of the fact there was no one down there at the bottom to tell you what to do where if you could take it up or not a lot of these rides yeah. don't have room at the top to store a lot of wheelchairs or scooters disney i get i i disney guess what i give them kudos for that because they do have room okay but there was no one down there so this particular person turned around and said i said well she had two strokes she has no feeling on her left side you know only her leg and she has anxiety issues and everything else. And we're waiting in line because no one had the audacity to say or even stand down there. She said, well, it depends what kind of pass you have. My son has autism. <laughs> and I'm like, went like that because look. Look, I have nothing against kids with autism no really. look we're gonna we're th I... this is this is what we're gonna say i have a great niece that has autism she's autistic i have a, a, a cousin's daughter who has developmental issues since she was born there's my there's children that have adhd Okay, I have nothing, absolutely nothing against why you need a disability pass. Okay, I, 
it doesn't matter if they're autistic, if they're ADHD, if they have neurological problems, if they have mobility issues, they all should be treated the same way. The only reason why they have three passes is because it's listed inside here. And again, whether rise. or not they do have three passes, I don't know. We it's and if they do, if it is true, if they do, because we're not completely sure, we're yeah. guessing because this is what we were told. Right. Okay. Only because it lists what rides that you are allowed to go on to depending upon your disability. Again, let me stress that. The difference in the passes is what rides you can go on to depending upon your disability. The problem is here. Those people just went up the exit, assumed and went up. And this should have been a ride because of the fact the way the ride, the waiting line is, is done. There is no way if you had a scooter that if you got tired or Stacy would have had an anxiety attack or she got cramps in her hips, which she does a lot with the scooter, I that she leaning. could absolutely, that she could, there was no way she could turn around and get back out of line. I was leaning on like the fence or the, the rails that were yes, up. I, exactly. I, just, I wanted the very last ride I wanted to go on was the Reese's Cup Fusion again. That's one of my favorite rides. So needless, I couldn't go on. Okay, so needless yeah. to say, by the time we got to the top, the people that passed me that were moaning that they only had to wait 15 minutes, we stood there and waited almost an hour, 45 yep. minutes to an hour because of the fact no one was down below to say, hey, let me see your book. Let me write the time in and you can go right up the exit. If we would have done that, we would have only been waiting about 15 minutes. And they did bring a wheelchair up later because after they got up there, they told them, oh, there's room for your wheelchair. Nobody was down below to tell us that there was room for her scooter up there and it's not a big scooter. I mean, look. I have no problem waiting. And the next park we're going to get into, um, you know, just give me a comeback time. Hey, I'm okay with that. We still, we still wait like everybody else. Yeah. You know, we try to follow the guidelines, but they clearly, they don't have a clue. None of these workers at the rides have a clue how to handle disabled people. And I don't understand this. Have a meeting. Have a meeting and say, this is what you do. And do it across the board. It doesn't matter what kind of disability you have. You have a disability. God bless you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to see the children have disabilities. I'm sorry to see her have a disability, but please, if you're going to go by the rules, go by the rules. Like I said, would they all had just, there was a, some in line had all, all different disabilities of the three I mentioned, but they didn't do it right. No. So other people I saw had disabilities are doing the same thing we did and were questioning the same thing. Have someone at the bottom and say, look, this is what you do. Don't say you're going to do a time. So we went on about five rides and there's only two times written in there. And those two times happen to be the times we got on the ride. Now, if that's what they're doing, say that's what you're doing. There was, there was nobody to explain anything. It was every ride we went on, it was a free for all, take a guess if you're going in the exit, except for the ride, which was the kissing tower, which they were very, very good with her. And, yeah. and the train, they made her feel this small because she was disabled. That's what I was angry also about. Okay. So again, I'm not going to stay on Hershey Park. That was our experience. Yes, it was a very crowded day. It had nothing to do with the way they handle their disability or accessibility program, as they call it. Okay, I, Archie Park right now is so torn up. 
They're doing a lot of construction. They're growing. And that's fantastic they are. I am so happy it keeps going. She worked and was with them a long time. And, but people, come on, get it together out there. Okay. Now. <laughs> Do I ad even address what's going on in Disney? So, we are going to talk about Disney World. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are go to Disney and are very happy what's going on with Disney. So, if I leave you again, I'm checking on our dinner. I'll let Stacy start and let her tell you. Again, like, this is from what I heard. This, I don't well, know. Well, so we're not going to get into that right now on what, what it is now. Stacy's going to tell you from the very first time that we went to Disney and the years after. Because we have been going at least once a year, almost every year, yeah. for the last, what? 12 and years. And I have been using their disability access. And service. she she has been. So she'll start telling you from the first time we went and the consistency of how they're handling everyone with the rides in all four parks. I'll so, be right back. So it used to be that it, there wouldn't be any papers or anything like that. Whatever ride you would go on you would just go up to the, well, first off, we would just go to any of the blue umbrellas and they would sign you up for the disability access. Or in Magic Kingdom, you would go to City Hall. You would go to City Hall and they would sign you up for it. Um, and then once you go, once you hit, go to a ride that you want to go on, you would just say, hey, can I have a comeback time? They would, they would put it. They would scan your magic pin, and they would, they would put a time in there for you to come back to that ride. And then we would go, you know, see a show or go have a snack because obviously it's a, it's hot. My asthma caused the strokes, so we, I can't stay in the heat for too long, or I'll have an asthma attack. Or stand. Or stand. Okay. So but obviously the disability access for Disney is not for mobility at all. It never was. Okay. So did you explain to them how, where we had to go get it? Yeah. Okay. In that building and? Yeah. Okay. All right. So. It's my little kitty. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. However, this year, actually, we went last year. Yeah, we went last yeah, year. I'm looking for my drink. And it was the easiest process I've ever had. We went into City Hall, and uh, they signed, they re, re signed me up for it. And obviously, I was approved for any asthma. And it was almost like a fast pass. You go in, they give you, you go in on your phone on the My Disney Experience, and there's there's a time there you can pick to ride that ride. It was so easy. I loved it. Um, this year, however, I'm I'm so sad. I don't know how I will ever do Disney. Because I'm no I'm no longer eligible. Um, they're saying there's other options like a comeback time. I don't know. Um, uh, maybe some of you can fill me in a little bit. I, I I I'm really I'm really sad because I'm I utilized it. Okay, now. We've been hearing all, you know, we've been hearing all kinds of things. Um, sorry, I just have to watch my cat. She's, she loves to get into everything. I'm making dinner and what have you. Okay. We 
love to go to Disney. Um, you know, and I get what we're talking about with all of these parks. It's, right. It's being done because it was abused. It was abused. It was being it... abused by a lot of people. And technically, that's what happened. It was just being abused by people who really, really didn't need it. Or I'm not even going to get into that because, again, you can't judge a person by looking at them if they need it or not. Okay? You need to talk to them. You need, you know... They really don't ask you your medical situation. However, Disney really goes in depth from the way of, I understand. All right. The way I understand right now, the only way that you are eligible for a disability pass in Disney right now is if you're autistic or ADHD. That's it. Like Stacy said, it never really was for mobility. It depended upon your your medical situation. Okay? And they never obviously they can't really ask you pertinent, it's against the law. Pertinent questions about your medical situation however what we did and most people will do is volunteer the information if they tell you they don't want it it's none of their business fine when we would go into the building uh which was i believe city hall i think it was city hall. i i'm if i'm wrong please correct me but it was right as you went in the gate of the park okay on the left-hand side, it was in one of those buildings there on the left-hand side. All right. So we would go in and the first time we ever got it, uh, we went into the building and she showed them her identification. She had her, she has a handicap placard. She took her handicap card in with her to show that she is handicapped. Okay, if anybody sees her walk with a brace on her leg or her hand closed up, can plainly see she has a mobility issue. However, that's not her only problem. We did explain to them her mobility issues just wasn't the whole, the whole picture. Stacey, that doesn't know already, at the age of 29, had two strokes, which left her left arm. She has no use of her left arm. Her hand closes up. She has no use of that. She drags her left leg with foot drop from the strokes. She wears a permanent brace. I mean, she could take it off at night, but she technically can't. She can't lift her foot up more than about a quarter of an inch maybe half inch on a good day, okay? She also lost 55% of her short-term memory. However, the root of the problem was this happened due to asthma attacks. So she had severe asthma where she had asthma attacks that she passed out from lack of oxygen. She had some brain damage that left her the way she is with her memory issues okay so what happens when she ha was having asthma attacks it wasn't under control is it under control now some days yes some days no depends on the heat which a lot of these parks like disney has severe heat and you get in one of those rides that you're inside even with air conditioning with Hundreds of people sometimes, if you go into the Haunted Mansion and you know how long it takes you to go through those lines, you could be doing that for two and a half hours. What if it gets extremely hot? So we would say to them, look, she also has a very high anxiety issues. So the last time we went down, which was 
two years ago? Last year. Well, okay, last year. Yeah. We were down there during the lovely hurricane last okay. year. All right. So they asked her. They were kind of giving her a hard time. And I, you called for it before we went, right? Yeah. Yes. We did it with a telechat on the phone. And we wanted to get it done ahead of time before we went down so we didn't have to go into the building. Okay. So she had said to her, well, if mobility is your only issue, you, you go through the exit, you go wherever the ride tells you to go, blah, blah, blah. Stacy said, but no, that's not the only, that's not the problem. The problem is if I'm stuck in one of those tunnel areas where there's a couple hundred people and I start having an asthma attack, even though she carries medication with her and she carries an EpiPen if she passes out. She had said to her, well, okay, you have those on you. Well, so then really I don't see a reason. And she goes, well, well, what would happen if you would take an asthma attack and you couldn't get out none of those things you have on you work and stacy goes i die literally i would die and so oh okay so then she goes well she said then that really does you know and you know she said absolutely nothing about the mobility okay but it was the, the anxiety, um, that which she is medi she's on medication for that too. She takes like how many pills, Stacy? Thirteen. Yeah. Like thirteen medications. Yeah. So, if it wouldn't have been for that, she would not have gotten the disability pass. And I'm not using this as an example to get a way around to get the pass. I'm just saying, it's a reality check, people. It's a reality check. It's not, you're disabled, not just because of mobility, not just because of autism, not just because ADHD, not just because, God forbid, you have a brain choke. It, you have tons and tons of other issues why you cannot stand in line. Look, I've read some comments out there. You know, there's there's people saying that, hey, well, maybe you shouldn't go to a park then. Um, I, I'm I'm young. I I want to enjoy life. However, you know, Disney Disney is my happy place, or at least it was. Um. You know, I, without being approved for, for, for the disability pass, I, I'm not sure how to even enjoy it. You know, you know, you can take cooling pills, you can take fans, however, you still gotta, you still gotta stand, stand or sit in line, either one. If you want to, if you want to ride a ride or don't ride any rides, either one. And with, with those parks being $150 a day. I'm not quite sure. I it, don't know it, what it is. It, it changes. Um, so I'm not sure how much it is. Um, we would get like the four day, the four, the four yeah. park, four day pass, which was the cheapest, which was around hundred dollars and like day. I said we would I would spend very little time outside other than getting to the to the ride we would I well last year when we when they did it online we would just pick a time and then we would grab a snack or go in go in somewhere see a cool. show somewhere cool um the tiki room or Mickey's Philhar magic or Anywhere that it's cool, anywhere that we could see a show, very little time was spent outside. 
I mean, we did that so she wouldn't get hot to kick her asthma in and pass out in the park. I mean, okay, granted, anybody, I guess that's a bad example. Anybody can get overheated and pass out in the park. However, what I'm getting at is it was, it was very good for people like Stacy that have COPD, that have stroke issues, um, not high just, anxiety. Not just for one or two particular diagnoses. She has, yes. So, so you know, she has... Again, I'm not judging anybody what their illness oh, is. Gosh, no. I'm not judging children. I'm not judging adults I, I, that say this is what's wrong. I'm just saying that for the reason now that, again, I know it was abused. Believe me. I know the disability pass in Disney was abused. Yeah. And this is why they had to crack down. But you're not cracking down the correct way. There are so many people like Stacy now that can't go and enjoy the park. Yeah, there's other people. You know, they're telling, uh, they're telling us to buy the multipass or Lightning Lane. No, I refuse to do it. I refuse to do it. I mean, That's here's not the thing: either revamp your which you're probably not going to. No. And you're going to see a drop in people because I've been hearing people where I live here in Pennsylvania that have season passes because they fly down so many times a year. We come down once a year because I have a brother-in-law that lives in Florida and he doesn't live that far away from Disney, like an hour. So he comes up and meets us and that's the only time we get to see him. But in the same token, the rides that she can on, why can get on, but she can ride, which is like Pirates of the Caribbean. We love to go on. Yeah. It's a small Jungle world, Cruise. Jungle Cruise. Like there's quite a few. There's quite a few in Disney that she can ride. However, it's the way that they're doing it now, how they're categorizing the disabilities. There are older people out there that have severe incontinence problems feeding issues, and especially stroke patients, especially COPD people. You're talking about it being hot. What, why would you tell a 70-year-old man or woman they can't go on a ride because they have breathing issues and, oh, well, you know, if that's the reason you can pass out and die, so then, well, well, too bad. I guess you can't come and you can't go on a ride. Disney, come on. You're better than this. Really. You now, are. Universal does Universal Islands of Adventure. They do the I see. They, they do the same one the that same Knoebels one does. The I B C C I B C C E S. At this point, I'm yeah, Univer I think you know, that they have that new park opening. I'm excited about it. So I think maybe Universal might be here. Yeah, I, our next trip that we do down there, which... Because I can utilize or... Yeah, it, it probably won't be next year. I'm not counting it out. Yeah. Next year, we're planning a cruise, by the way, in April with Royal Caribbean on Odyssey of the Seas um, because it's coming to Bayonne, New Jersey, and we live about an hour and a half away from there two hours, an hour and a half, two hours. So um, we haven't taken a cruise in since the first year the Disney Wish came out, which I think was what? Well, we may do a video on that too, because I don't have the handicap accessible room. Right. So, but we do have, on. we do have a balcony. Yeah. Um, we do have a balcony room, which will give us a little more room. We can sit out on the balcony yeah. and port, or I love just sitting out on the balcony when they're cruising. So, but anyway, back to the parks. Um, 
The only thing I can say about our opinion with Disney, and we're not ragging on Disney. We, no. we still love Disney. I think Disney's we, been ragged on enough. They've been ragged on enough. We're not going to do that. We're not no. going to criticize the parks. You know, um, we still love going there. We just I have know to they had to make some way. Right. I know they had to make some tough decisions, but man, this decision they should have talked more on. Listen to the people, Disney. Listen to the disabled people. Don't just say, Oh, it's mobility issues. It's not. There are a lot of other disabilities there. And even so, if it would be a mobility issue. Examine the mobility issue. Okay, you need to go back and re examine this because you're losing a lot of people here. You're losing people that want to cancel their season pass. You, you know, you're handling these kind of problems. You don't want people to leave. And that's what's happening. I know there's someone that had even posted. They want to sell their, their, um, the DVC. They want to sell their DVC shares because of the fact they don't want to come to Disney anymore because they can't use the disability pass to get on the rides. That's ridiculous. Why would you do this? I don't understand this. Same thing. Like, um, again, I'm going to reiterate this. I have nothing absolutely nothing against any disability nothing i feel bad for people that have disabilities and try to overcome them and try to live a normal life but you're deterring this you're just you're just i don't know what to say i'm not saying that you're discriminating you're not I, I see the way you're looking at it. You're looking at this as it was abused. And I agree. I solely agree with you, I Disney. Agree too. We agree yeah. it was being abused. But you need to go back and look at this objectively with other disabilities. Or I don't know how else to say it. I I I said my piece on that. The only thing I could say is Disney, good luck. That's all I can say. Good luck because with Epic Universe, you may think differently. When Epic Universe and Universal Studios opens next year, you're already going to start off with a lot of competition. Yep. And with the disability pass on top of it, where people that I know are already saying, they're skipping Disney now next year. They're going to Epic Universe. And it's not because of Epic Universe. They're going to Universal, quote, in general, because they now are no longer able to get the disability pass. And again, these are people I've been talking to of all ages that are friends of mine, you know, not and family that live in Florida. Okay, and so that's just our take on it. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to make this any longer. I'm not ranking it. Disney, we love you. We love your park. We we love all of your parks. We love being in Florida. We love it. We love you. But I refuse to purchase the Lightning Lane Pass in order for her to get on a ra ride faster. Because of the fact we're already paying whatever it is to come there now, which is a lot of money for us, for people that have to save for two years to come to Disney or a whole year for the two of us to come to Disney because we don't do the parks every day. We stay back at, at the hotel. We go in the pool. We take days off. We go, yeah. we go to different um different hotels and restaurants and things like that. We go to um, Disney Springs, you know. I love going to Disney Springs. So we do a lot of other, uh, other the things. The same thing. We're very rarely out in the 
and the heat. But we can go in when we want to. Right. If we're at Disney Sp Springs, we, you know, we can go sit down and have something to eat or drink or if she's yeah. not feeling well or something like that. But when you have to stand, again, I'm not going back there. No. <laughs> Just our opinion. And I know that you have all heard this before. Yeah. Look, this is our opinion and our opinion always. You want to know my true opinion? In order for you to get on a ride, they want you to purchase the lightning pass, which is more, more money, money. <laughs> you're dishing out. I'm not saying that's the reason. But Disney, if you were on our side and we have to take a year or two years to to save up to go, wouldn't you think the same thing? Well, wait a minute. I can't get the disability pass, but oh boy, I can get on the ride if I purchase a lightning pass or the lightning lane. I can't do it and I won't do it. So I guess we're at an impasse. I guess we will just have to put Disney on hold. Yeah. Until you finally wise up a little, maybe just a tad. <laughs> just wise up just a tad and and revamp your disability pass just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because we still want to come. We still love you. But, you're making it impossible but you're for making, people that really need it. You're making it so very hard and impossible for someone like her to come to the park and enjoy herself. And I have to say this. People that are commenting, then stay home. Really? Stay home? No. Then why don't you stay home then? If you have a problem with it, you stay home. Because how would you like it if your husband or daughter or, or mother or someone had a disability and had to use this pass to get on a ride and you spent $3,000 or more on a vacation to Disney for a couple of days and can't get on a ride because you're not eligible? Now, just, just think of it that way, the way we think of it. You would be upset, too. But again, it's not just Disney. We just told you three different parks, amusement parks. Okay? We just told you about Knobles Amusement Resort, which changed theirs. Not too, too much. No. And like I said, Universal is the same as Kenobo's, so... Exactly. So there's a fourth park for you. There's a fourth park that you could go to. Kenobo's, it's just the issue of how many people. It's two people. Yeah. Okay. I'm I not have... sure how many people it is at Universal. Right. We're... I haven't... Yeah, we didn't look that up. Uh, Hershey Park? It'll be a long time before I go back to Hershey Park. It's just because I'm used to the old way Hershey Park used to be. I know you have to grow, but the way they built everything, they built so many coasters that people like me or a disabled person can't do much at Hershey Park. They took away all the shows. There are no shows in Hershey uh, Park whatsoever to even go in, to sit down and walk. They the stopped all the lion. shows. I think the sea lion show. Right, right. So... If I rate right now which park is the best, I would have to say Knobles Amusement Resort in Elysburg, Pennsylvania, yep. which is a nice family-oriented park. Number two would probably be Hershey Park, but you need to get your act together, get your employees mm -hmm. together, and have a meeting with them and say, look, we need somebody there. I understand that these they're low-staffed. I get that. Then put a sign there. All disabled, or what do they call it, accessible passes, all passes, go through the exit ramp. Come up the exit ramp. Put a sign there. Not a sign, of a, trend, not a sign of a wheelchair with a person getting up. Just pointing to the, the entrance. That could be taken a lot of many ways here. Yeah. Okay, so we're not saying to put a person there. At least put a sign saying, if you have one of these passes, go here. That's all you need is a sign. But get with 
get with it that I can't, again, I can't go there either. Just, just get with it, people. Have a meeting. Tell everyone the way you want it done. And that's that. Because nobody's following it. And Disney, you already heard our feelings. And many, 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 many other people with their feelings there. And we, we do love the park. We do love Disney. We love every single park in Disney, and we're not a big fan of Animal Kingdom, but we do love every park we go to in Disney. And they were very good. They were standing right there with the pass with the tablets, and they were giving you a time to come back. Like I said last year, they were year, very efficient. Last they all year, you listened. really you didn't even need the you didn't even need them. You just hit it. Right yeah. on your phone for a time, right. you went in, you scan your magic band. Right. And, that and was it was that. very easy. Very easy. So it's not that it was complicated. We loved it. Okay. All right. So that's, a, I'm sorry if I ranted. I just, I feel bad for her because this is the way people still want to live their life. They still want to do amusement parks. But. You just you just need a little more organization, a little more thought in things. Pull yourself in another person's shoes and see how they feel being in the medical situation that they're in. And then you'll see what we're saying, where we're coming from. Okay? So we're sorry if we did this kind of video today, but we felt... We were so angry when we came back from Hershey Park and not just Hershey, but, you know, what's going on at all of the amusement parks on general, in general, and how things are changing according to the passes. And unfortunately, a lot of them are not changing for the good. And it's going to hurt them. And I don't want to see that. I own stock in Disney. And I see the way it's, it tanks. And I'm afraid next year it's going to tank even farther. And I don't want to see that happen. I don't want to see a dream of Walt Disney's disappear. Because I really don't. I want to see it go on forever and ever, you know. I get emotional because that's what she loves to do. And I feel like she is very upset about it because it's like she said, now, mom, I can't do the one thing I really, really love. If we don't have money, she, we understand, you know, if we don't have the money to go, we don't have the money to go, but we save up for so long to go. And now you're telling us, oh, wait a minute, she can't get the disability pass to go on the ride. So, yeah, you know, she didn't apply this year. We're just going by people that were like us that had gotten the pass and can't get it because, quote, it's for certain disabilities. Right. Okay. And again, we're not saying that we have anything wrong with that. We don't have an issue with that. We don't have an issue with wrong with anyone. Again, it could be many medical disabilities. Okay. And God loved the children that have problems. It, it's not that's not the issue. The issue is people of all ages and all disabilities. That's all we're saying. We think you need to go back and look at it. Okay, so we rated all three parks on their disability passes. You make your own conclusions. Mm -hmm. Again, please give us feedback. Yeah. Ask us questions about any of the parks, amusement parks we've been to. Um, Add some information if we skipped anything. Um, no rude comments, because if there's comments on there, believe me, that says anything of the ordinary, that says stay home, whatever, they will be deleted. I mean, maybe we, I don't, maybe we I don't missed something. It. Maybe we did something wrong. I don't know. Yeah. Um, if, it's, if it's a viable comment on why you let think she know. shouldn't have the pass let us know yeah. i'm i'm open to suggestions anything but i'm just saying 
please, no rude comments. Okay? That's not what this channel is about. This channel, right now, I did this video because this was a discussion that has been going around through it's been circling and circling and circling and circling through all the amusement parks on uh, what's going on across the board with all of the disability problems going on. And that's the reason why we did this. So I'm just going to end it at here. And please get back to us. Please leave a comment. Don't forget to click subscribe, like, and please watch the video all the way through we're trying to build some subscribers here yeah. and we also need watch hours so if we're boring i apologize please tell us yeah let's uh, know if we're boring. Yeah, yeah let us know you know and you know we'll try to spice it up a little bit more okay so that's all for today we appreciate your time and listening to us on our this is only our opinion of what yes. we think about the three parts that we rated and about their disability issues, okay? Or their disability, uh, accessibility, whatever they wanna call it, their passes in the park and what's available. Okay, so I'm Sandy. And I'm Stacy. And we're the Fashion Girls, yes. but we're, we've been traveling. So mm -hmm. we'll have more to come on um, a lot of different, different issues that we're working on. You might see some videos with me and some videos with the both of us. You know, we try to do a little, we try to do things that we think that are interesting. Yeah. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.